Okay, so next video in this series on constructing angles is how to make 90 degrees at a point. Okay, here we go then. So this construction just relies on a perpendicular bisector. We've made a video on this. The link will be in the, in the description. You should watch the perpendicular bisectors video before you attempt this construction. Now, obviously, this might seem a bit daft really because this grade paper is easy, yeah? To make 90 degrees at point A, you would literally do this, job done, and you make 90 degrees. But obviously, normally this, this will be done on plain paper, okay? So I'm only using square paper for demonstrational purposes. So the problem with it is, right, you can't just make a perpendicular bisector of this line because if you do, the 90 degrees will be in the middle of this line. And I don't want that. I want the angle to be at A. So you need to make A the midpoint of your line. So see, this is obviously one, two, three, four, five centimeters to this point. So if you extend this line, really, you should be doing this in, with, with, that, in it, with a dashed line, but let me try it, is it? I'll use a Sharpie so we can get them. Um, here we go. So when I go, uh, here we go. See, I'm just making this now, all right, an extra five squares long. One, two, three, four. Oh, sorry, it was six, actually. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm just going to make, the, I guess I'm going to continue this line an extra six centimeters, okay? Now A is bang in the midpoint. See? You can see A is six centimeters across. And now, if you perpendicularly bisect this line, it will end up at A. So remember, this is a very quick construction. Open your compass up to more than halfway across the line. That will do. Nice, roughly semicircular arc. Put it here. And again, here you go. All right. Where they cross here. Oh, I got it. I got that. I, I got this one spot on, look. Because now, if you do that, you can see, I, you know, the square paper shows it perfectly. I've cut, I have the, the, the line I've made, the angle I've made is exactly at A, you see? And this obviously is a perfect right angle. All right. You, know, you could use the protractor, but sure, the square paper makes it obvious. That's exactly 90 degrees there, okay? And obviously, if you want the day, you might want to just make sure to do this stuff to make it ultra clear. Here's my angle of 90 degrees at A. As a free bonus, I think you would also get an angle here, wouldn't you, of 270 degrees because angles around the point must sub to 360. Okay. All right, let's try it again. Here. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six. This one looks like seven squares long, but I couldn't count probably could I before. Let me double check. It is seven squares long. All right. So I'll try now and extend this line again. Seven squares. I think goes up to here, but I will double check now. Yeah, so the whole thing's 14 squares long, and A is right in the middle. Beat the process. All right. Here we go. Hope this will fit. Here we go. Oh, just about. So over halfway, let me just show you that, sorry. See, over halfway, and again, pardon me, sorry, here we go. Uh, here we go. Mark, mark, and again, I can see I've got it spot on. Obviously, on plain paper, this would be even more impressive on plain paper because, you know, you wouldn't have the squares to guide you. But I remember these, so these are only for demonstrational purposes. You can see, look, right in the middle, and a perfect right angle. So again, maybe you want to define the angle clearly. And again, if you want an angle for free, all right, you also get a free 270 degrees. All right, easy peasy. So it's just a perpendicular bisector, but make the point you want, the midpoint of a line before you bisect this new line, all right? But that's it. So thanks for listening, thanks for watching, stay safe. See you soon. Nice one.